All right, my name is Jed McKeon, and today we're going to be talking about some probate matters and what all that means. What is probate? That means that when someone dies, you are going to be probating their estate or dividing up the assets. When someone dies with a will, that is something that you would take to the courthouse and say, I need to open up an estate. Uh, now, you can still probate someone's estate if they don't have a will, and that is called intestate um, probate. Intestate is just a fancy word for without a will. So what happens is, is that someone will be appointed a personal representative of the estate, and it's, this is usually a family member or something like that, who will then go about paying off the debts, of the estate and then dividing up any assets that are left and the will may have particular uh, gifts that are given in the estate to a church or they want one specific relative to have a clock or a blanket that might be special to that person. Now one way to avoid going through the probate process is to have assets jointly owned meaning that there are two parties names on a checking account or a vehicle or a house, these items do not need to be probated. Once one of those two people dies, those assets immediately go to the remaining uh, living individual who has their name on that checking account and what have you. Now, if you don't have a will, all of the assets don't automatically go to the spouse. The spouse only gets a third but if the assets are jointly owned by the spouse then those assets go immediately to the living heir. Now uh, one thing that uh, you helps when you draft a will is that you can be specific in what who you give to what. Uh, you may uh, have one child who is more responsible than the others and you may uh, want them to uh, take care of selling the home as opposed to the oldest necessarily and that's one benefit of doing a will and then also uh, a document that goes along with the will normally is a power of attorney when uh, individuals become elderly they generally have a tougher time getting in the car and going to the bank or there may be medical decisions that need to be made or tax returns that need to be filed and doing a power of attorney uh, can allow a trusted relative or friend to do those kind of things for you as well. And keep in mind as well, if you are on a younger individual but you have young children and uh, you are to pass as minors, they would need someone to care for them. And in a will, you can uh, make provisions for uh, the care of your children, who you want to be, because you may not uh, want it to go to a relative. You may want it to go to a friend or a parent or a specific brother or sister as opposed to someone who may um, express an initial interest in taking over the raising of your children. So there's a lot of moving parts in the probate process, a lot of things to consider. Let's see, those are some of the basics. Um, happy to talk to you more about those things or anything uh, legal related and you can find me at attorney-knoxville.com or you can email me at attorneyknoxville at gmail.com or on Facebook or Twitter.